I'm Molly Carnes and I oppose SB 1515. We are in a public education committee meeting again in Texas where we are focused on something that doesn't actually improve public education. Posting the Ten Commandments in every classroom does nothing to improve reading, writing, or arithmetic. But before you think I'm a heathen lefty who wants to destroy the church, I'm an active Christian, I've raised my kids in the church, and I'm a vocational evangelist. I have no issue with the Ten Commandments. In fact, they're central to my faith. My issue with your bill is that, believe it or not, not everyone practices Christianity or any faith at all. In a state as diverse as Texas, the posting of a Christian document in a classroom tacitly tells all the non-Christians that they're not included. And I know that's hard for you because you can't imagine being left out, but it happens. And I'm guessing posting parts of the Quran or the Wiccan read wouldn't be mandated or allowed. Creating a classroom environment where messages of inequality doesn't help students achieve. But bottom line, Public schools are not religious institutions. This is an obvious violation of the Establishment Clause because it promotes a particular religion and a public institution built and operated by public funds. And it looks just like Christian nationalism. I mean, if it quacks like a duck. You know, and I know <laughs> conservatives have whipped up the base to believe that students are being indoctrinated to do all sorts of impure things. But the Ten Commandments are not an insurance policy against your child being queer or sexually active or a Democrat. But here's what I find so incredibly curious. I'm so curious, that last, that third commandment about idolatry. The way Republicans marginalize populations of people to get elected because they can't imagine giving up the power that they wield here, no matter who is harmed. Hmm. I can't imagine a better example of modern day idolatry. Curious. Questions? Members, any questions for this witness? All right, we appreciate you being here.